Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break. Five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. We are in Psalm 119 once again today. Verse 64 is where I will be reading. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119, verse 64, The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Notice that. Notice the heart of a true, we would say, Christian today. He says, he acknowledges, The earth is full of thy mercy. Mercy is God not giving us the bad that we deserve as sinners. He says, the whole earth, you have just lavished upon all of us your great mercy. You're not giving us what our sins deserve. And that's so true. If you are alive, you, you are not getting what your sin deserves. Because you deserve immediate physical death and eternal burning in hell. So anything that you have that's better than that, and if you're listening to me, you got something better than that, then you are a product of God's mercy. God's mercy is God not giving us the bad that we deserve. And he says, the earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. But then he follows that up by saying, teach me thy statutes. Teach me your word. Teach me your commandments. Teach me the things that you want me to do the way you want me to live. Teach me that. I know you're full of mercy and that's wonderful and you don't give me what my sin deserves. But I ask you to teach me the way you do want me to live. That is the heart of a true Christian today. Some people would say, God is full of mercy? Hey, fantastic. That is great. I'm going to live in sin. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff because God is full of mercy. And I don't have to worry about it. He'll just, he'll just pass it off. No big deal. I got me a license to sin. God's mercy is a license to sin. This is fantastic. Boy, is that the wrong attitude. Boy, is that, the, is that a hellish attitude. And that's the attitude of somebody who's on their way to hell. If you think in those terms, I don't care if you call yourself a Christian or not. I don't care if you go to a so-called Bible-believing church, which I don't believe you do. Because if the man of God was really proclaiming the word of God, you wouldn't think like that or you wouldn't be going to that church. Because it would rub you the wrong way. You'd be so uncomfortable sitting under a man who preaches the pure word of God that you wouldn't go back. So whatever church you're going to is some modern evangelical lukewarm church that doesn't step on anybody's toes because they water down the word of God so much. You call yourself a Christian. Mister, if that's your attitude, you are hell bound. I don't care if you've said the sinner's prayer. I don't care if you've been baptized. You're going to hell. Because that's not the attitude of a saved person. That's not the attitude of someone who truly knows Christ. Anybody who would say, God is full of mercy, fantastic, I'm going to live in sin. You're going to be burning in hell one day if you don't repent. Because you're not saved with that attitude. You know, the Bible says that the goodness of God leads us to repentance. And the Bible also says that the grace of God teaches us to live godly lives. You see, I'm a product of God's grace. He doesn't hold me accountable for my sins. I, I don't have to burn it I have God's grace. I have grace. So I have a license to sin. That's your attitude. You would never say that, probably, but that's what you think. That's what a lot of people think. The only problem with that is God's grace teaches us to deny ungodliness. And to live holy. That's what the Bible teaches. That's what the Bible says. God's mercy and his grace stirs up a desire to not want to sin in those of us who truly know Christ. So if you don't have a desire to not sin, if you don't have a desire to be holy, you're not saved. It's a wake-up call for some of you. For more of God's word, go to the thebibleversebyverse.com. Study it from Genesis through Revelation, using my audio Bible messages. That's at thebibleversebyverse.com. Until next time, so long.